Among members, it is covering the updated COVID shot for the fall and winter after some people said they paid out of pocket for it. As Max Rodriguez reports, a technical issue on HMSA's end is being blamed for the confusion. The commercial rollout of the updated COVID-19 vaccine facing some hiccups for HMSA members. Both places told me that, yeah, HMSA is not covering the shots at this moment. So the price that I would have to pay is like $190. HMSA says the confusion was due to a lag in their system. It happened so much quicker than we thought, you know, for, for better or for worse. You know, the, the vaccines were approved last week, Monday, and then CMS, the federal government, released the, um, the rates on Thursday. And so it was a really quick turnaround for us to set all of these things and get them into our systems. HMSA staff inputting vaccine and administrative fees in its system to properly process claims for those wanting the shot. I do plan on getting it because I work in healthcare. HMSA staff clarifying directly with pharmacies like Long's Drugs, Walgreens, Costco and independent pharmacies. Please don't turn away our members. You know, please give them the vaccine, hold on to the claims and we'll resolve it with you on the back end. A long struck spokesperson says they are working with their pharmacy teams in order to reschedule appointments for those members having to pay out of pocket. Meanwhile, Kaiser Permanente tells us Kaiser Permanente is expecting its supply of the updated COVID-19 vaccine soon and anticipates offering the vaccines next week at its clinics across the state. The Hawaii Department of Health echoing the CDC's recommendation for people six months of age and older to get the shot, especially as the holiday season approaches. For its part, HMSA says the issue has been resolved, but some have already paid for their COVID vaccine. They should work with the pharmacy that charged them in order to reverse that charge and reimburse them. Members are encouraged to call HMSA if they encounter further issues. Max Rodriguez, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.